Good evening. This is Dr. Paul. Thank you very much once again for tuning to our channel today. Today I want to talk a few minutes about syphilis. Syphilis is a very common disease, uh, especially in developing countries. Now it is actually increasing even in uh, developed nations. So I want to talk a few minutes about syphilis today. First of all, let me invite you to visit my website at uh, www.usmlavideos.net. That is www.usmlavideos.net, uh, where you can find videos to browse through for hundreds of uh, topics. Now let me talk uh, today about syphilis briefly, about uh, the condition, and then I will talk about the treatment in detail. Syphilis is caused by treponema pallidum. And to understand syphilis well, divide it into stages. Primary, secondary, early, latent, late latent, and tertiary syphilis. Coming to the clinical findings, go again based on the stages. In primary stage of the disease, you will find a shanker. A shanker which is which develops at the site of the entry of a spirochete between like 10 days and six weeks about the infection. So when you see this shanker, you doubt the disease. And now the shanker is non-tender. It does not cause any pain. That's a very, very important point. And it causes the inguinal adenopathy, which is firm, hard, and non-tender. So a non-tender, shanker which is painless is seen in the primary stage then secondary stage that develops like four weeks from the primary stage it is defined by the clinical manifestations because the spirochetes they enter into the bloodstream in secondary stage and the most common symptom in secondary stage is the rash we call this a macular papular or maculopapular rash and it is known as the term condyloma lata that's an important term you need to remember. Condylometa lata is the characteristic feature of the second stage of uh, this problem. And it can also cause hepatitis, meningitis, alopecia, and weight loss in the second stage. Then comes latent stage. Latent stage, you should divide it again into two things. Early latent stage and late latent stage. Early latent stage comes like one to two months and the late latent stage can go up to 20 years. And finally, the tertiary stage. The tertiary stage is characterized by destructive lesions and they can affect many structures like iota, CNS, and the skin. So that's about the stages of syphilis. Then let us talk about uh, diagnosis. Diagnosis of syphilis is confirmed by serologic testing or positive results on microscopic dark field examination. We start with RPR. If RPR is positive, you should go for other tests that are very, very confirmative. Those two tests are, you need to remember this, FTA, ABS, and MHA, TP. So start with RPR and go for FTA, ABS, and MHA, TP test. Now, let me talk about treatment. You need to remember one point very, very well. That is benzothine penicillin G. The treatment of choice in syphilis, syphilis is benzothine penicillin G intramuscular dose. And you give this dose to all patients. And if the patient is allergic, there are other options like doxycycline, tetracyclines, erythromycin. Um, but remember always that the drug of choice is benzothine, benzothine penicillin G. Okay. And um, even if the patient is pregnant, has syphilis, let, let us say a pregnant patient came, she, is, she has syphilis and she is allergic to penicillin, what would you do? That's a dilemma. In such cases, you should actually desensitize the patient. Because you say you cannot use doxycycline or tetracyclines in pregnant patients. The only thing you can use is penicillin. So you desensitize the pregnant woman and then give her benzothine penicillin G. Now let me talk about the stages. Remember, to do well on your exam, remember the stages. It's useful both for clinical manifestations 
and for the treatment. So primary stage, secondary stage and early latent stage give penicillin G. I am just one dose. If the patient is allergic to penicillin G, then you go for doxycycline or tetracyclines. Now what about uh, the next stage? That next stage is uh, late latent phase. So primary, secondary and early latent phase give one dose of benzathione penicillin G, but for the late latent phase of syphilis, give three doses of penicillin G. Okay? That's an important point. That's why I'm emphasizing it repeatedly. For primary, secondary and early latent phase, use one dose of penicillin G. For late latent syphilis, use three doses of penicillin G. I am intramuscular doses. And that is important. I am emphasizing I am because in neurocephalus, you use IV benzathione penicillin G. Okay? That's an important point. So for all other stages, you use IM doses of benzathione penicillin G, whereas in a neurocephalus, you use IV doses of benzathione penicillin G. And you can also use doxycycline, you can also use tetracyclines. For example, in patient with neurocephalus, he has a, a, you can use benzathione penicillin G aqueous solution IV, but if the, the other alternatives are probenicid, ceftriaxone. Okay, so those are the most important points you need to remember in syphilis. Remember, it is a non-tender uh, shanker and it comes in stages. Remember those stages and the treatment, when you, uh, when you remember treatment according to the stages, it will be easy to follow through. Thank you. That's about syphilis. If you have any good points, please feel, uh, uh, feel free to post them on our channel. And also, I encourage you to read our book. USML is smash thousands of people around the world are reading this book and passing this examination and uh, you don't have to spend uh, thousands and thousands of dollars in uh, coaching centers all you have to do is to buy this book and learn some tips and success will be yours okay that's the uh, USML is smash it's available on Amazon Barnes and Noble and Axelibris websites and please get through and also visit our website at www that usmlvideos.net. That's about today, and uh, feel free to visit us at any time on our website. Thank you.